I see young population with universities, so that's usually a recipe for success. So I don't have enough insight into the inner workings of Armenian society or the businesses, apart from what I've seen here, but that seems like a promising bright future in an industry that requires the least of infrastructure to move something forward. As your businesses grow, keeping them locally might be the biggest problem you're going to face because at the end of the day there is competition with so many hubs in the world that it's just easier to probably attract talent to make the country as a whole interesting for people who come from all over the world in a multicultural society to be able to work and collaborate the same way that cities like Berlin or Lisbon has picked up from basically becoming a startup hubs. That's probably the biggest challenge to create that sense of attraction that people come from everywhere. It's just no longer remains a domestic market, basically production environment, but an international production environment that all the companies come in, all of different cultures mingle, and that would be probably the biggest challenge. I really wouldn't be able to say that. I don't have any insight to the Armenian society or the expat society, but what I can see, it's a very good starting point for people to basically invest in Armenia and just do the initial development because there is roots, there is connections and, and everybody has an Armenian story. I grew up in an Armenian neighborhood actually as a, as a kid. So there's always some sort of a connection and I think that's a very good starting point. But as always, I do believe that as we diversify, we become stronger and stronger and stronger and that would be probably the very good um, a starting point, a very good stepping stone to have this massive expat society that can start investing here.